Hey students, today I'm here with a very interesting Olympiad question. Don't get scared that it's an Olympiad question, so it would be tricky. Yes, it would be tricky, but it's very interesting. And I'll be using the basic algebraic identities that you have in your school books. No other concept we'll be using here. So question is if x plus y is equals to 19 and x, y is equals to 9, find the value of x root x plus y root y. Now, this question would have been simpler if root values were not there, right? But even now we will be able to solve it very simply. Just think about it. Root x and root y is there. How can I get this root x and root y? Let's do one thing. Let's write here root x plus root y whole square. Right? Let's open this identity. It will be opened in the same manner like we open a plus b whole square. Instead of a, I've got root x here. Instead of b, I have root y here. So this is going to be root x square plus root y square plus 2 times root x times roots y. That's going to be 2 times root x y. Yes, this is the value that we are going to hit here. Alright, so this would be equals to root x plus root y whole square. That would be equal to x plus y because root and square will get cancelled out, right? I think this, these are very small, small things where students generally make mistakes. Plus 2 times square root of x, y is 9. I'm going to simply write here 9. So root 9 is nothing but that's going to be 3. So x plus y, we have this value that's going to be 19. So I can say that root x plus root y whole square is going to be equals to 19 plus 2 times 3. 19 plus 2 times 3, if you simplify this, we are going to get 25. That means I can say that root x plus root y, when square is shifted to the other side, it gets, it becomes the root, right? So that's going to be square root of 25, which will give us 5. So till now I've got the value of root x plus root y. But question is asking something else. It's x root x plus y root y. So how can I get that? Now, to come to this point, what we can do here is, I can simply take root x plus root y whole cube. Let's take the whole cube of this. So it's nothing but that's actually a plus b whole cube. I'm applying that identity. That's going to be root x cube plus root y cube plus 3 times root x times root y. That's going to be root of x, y. In the bracket we have here, square root of x plus square root of y. Let's put all the values here. So what do we have here? So till now we have got root x plus root y whole cube. That's going to be equals to root x cube. What does that mean? That's going to be root x times root x times root x. So two root x and root x, they will form x and one root x will be left here. So that's going to be x root x. So this would be x root x. Similarly, this is going to be y root y. Now again, root xy is nothing, xy is 9. So root xy is going to be square root of 9 and root x plus root y, we already got the value, that's going to be 5. Let's simplify this. What do we have here? We have square root of x plus square root of y whole cube is equals to x root, I mean, we have this value as well, right? Now I can put here, this is going to be equals to 5 cube. So 5 cube is going to be equals to x root x plus y root y Root 9 is nothing, that's 3. 3 times 3 is 9. And 9 times 5 is going to be 45. Now, in simplification, 5 cube is going to be 125. On simplifying this, we have here x root x plus y root y is going to be equals to 125 minus 45. That will give us 80. So, 80 is going to be the final answer for this question. See, we did not use any new thing over here. I just used, make you made use of the two basic algebraic identities that is a plus b whole square and a plus b whole cube. Just by using that, we solved this tricky Olympiad question. Now, you can also try out questions like this and if you have any doubts, you can always leave your comments in the comment section below.